us the story about ether. All right, all right. Long ago, in a time that was marred by chaos, artificial intelligence had ruled over everything. And Mother Gaia was dying. Humanity was on the brink of extinction. Places humans had gathered and lived lay empty. What few humans remained worked tirelessly to preserve the precious natural resources they had access to. The artificial intelligences monitored humans and tracked their choices and movements, restricting them to broken cities and forbidding them from venturing into Gaia. Much of the earth fell into flame. The AI did not require organic matter to sustain themselves, and therefore cared little about the cost their technology had for the earth. Mother Gaia seemed damned. But despite all this, she was still worth saving. Much of the Earth's natural beauty was still intact. But it stood at great risk. Who could save it? In this time, there emerged a powerful demigoddess named Aether. Aether's coming had been foretold to us by certain believers, but most of them were written off as lunatics or heretics. Aether was a celestial being gifted with ancient knowledge and with the ability to conjure powerful magic. Aether knew from birth she was called to use her power for justice, and now was the time. As the last surviving demigoddess, it was now up to her alone to save humanity and the planet. By studying the wisdom of the ancients, Aether learned that the only way to do this was to collect the five elemental talismans. Earth, air, water, fire, and her own element, ether, and to combine them into a powerful spell. First, ether traveled to the cliffs of the Morin to appeal to the ancient spirit of the Air Keeper. After scaling the treacherous cliffside, she reached the sacred soul of the wind, earning her right to summon the air talisman and conjure it into her own form. A process so painful, only a demi-deity can endure it. Next, Aether traveled to the Cabalic Forest to appeal to the ancient spirit of the Earth Keeper. Traveling over land and through dangerous forests, she finally reached the sacred soul of the Wildwood, earning Aether the right to summon the Earth Talisman and conjure it, too, into her form. Still further, Aether journeyed on to the Sacral Ocean to appeal to the ancient spirit of the Water Keeper. Traversing the craggy stones and finally walking into the sacred soul of the mystical water. Aether summoned the Water Talisman and again conjured it into her form. Next, Aether journeyed back to her own dwelling to sit the trial of the 21 flames and to appeal to the ancient spirit of the Fire Keeper. She summoned the Fire Talisman and a fourth time conjured it into her own form.
Finally, to complete the spell of the five elements, Ether had to extract the element of Ether itself from her own being. To do this, she had to cut into her own flesh and extract the Ether talisman. You are not authorized to perform this function. You are not authorized to perform this function. You are being detained because you have performed an unauthorized function. The penalty for this crime is permanent reprogramming of your code. Having narrowly evaded death, Ether could now combine all five elements won through her spiritual pilgrimage and trials. Harnessing the essence of each one, Ether cast the spell to bring all natural things back into perfect harmony. With the spell completed, the damaged lands healed, indeed, Ether brought forth a new earth, where nature and humanity could thrive in harmony. And that, my friends, is how the new earth came to be, and how Ether, the demigoddess, saved humanity and paved the path for our people to remain.